Like, how would you describe where you worked when you'd go out into the field as a correspondent? When you just because people would say like, "Oh, what show is this? What's the Daily Show?" What would what would your answer be? Oh, I I, I guess I. I, I'm like I was raised in the South. I, I like to make people feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm a genial sort. Yeah. And so early on, I would sort of inter introduce myself and and you know explain. I mean, I'd leave out the Daily Show, but I would just explain. We're going to do an interview. This is a it's a news program on cable, and uh, and then. So you'd lie. Basically. Mm -hmm. But then the the. Interviews would invariably get extremely awkward, as they always did. And I realized I probably shouldn't talk to them at all before we sit down, <laughs> because that makes me feel a lot worse about the situation. You start liking them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. I don't know. It's even a weird... some of the terrible people. Yeah. You would see some of the people would say the worst things, and, and you, there would still be something within them that you yeah. would think, like, yeah. what, a, what a lovable well, racist. You didn't always see their <laughs> humanity. Yes. No. He's not racist 24 yeah. 7. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. A biker yeah. bar in Arizona where I. Oh, where they wanted yeah. to bring guns into the bars. Yeah. So, the, the, well, ironically, the owners of the biker bars were against bringing guns into their bars. <laughs> Not ironically, they were very rational. Right. And so, oh, uh, but, but I... Ironic, <laughs> ironically <laughs> rational. Yeah, right. But I, of course, as a Daily Show correspondent, was taking the very irrational point of view that that made them wussies. <laughs> and so the guy was explaining, look, look, I don't want... And he was a huge guy, the owner of this, this bar. And he, he was saying, like, look, it just doesn't make so sense to have guns in bars, people drinking. And I said, well, that makes you a wuss. And he goes, excuse me? <laughs> and I said, never mind. <laughs> we got that already. The interview's done. And uh, we used it. No, I remember. But I didn't, I didn't die.